I wondered if you could tell me about Golden Seeds and how this network of angel investors support women entrepreneurs. Golden Seeds is first and foremost a group of investors. Uh, we support women entrepreneurs by giving them capital. That's right. uh, number one. It's very tough for women entrepreneurs to get capital. That's, sure I guess it's tough for all entrepreneurs to get ca yes, capital, yeah. but definitely women entrepreneurs are an underserved segment. They really only get between 0 and 6% of venture capital in any one year. Yes. So, uh, but capital uh, is best when it comes value added. Yes. And ours comes with a lot of advice, mentoring, coaches for the entrepreneurs. And because we have a network of 160 members, uh, we can use that network to open doors for the companies, whether it's for partnerships, uh, potential acquirers, customers, and uh, all of us are really very interested in, uh, in helping these companies grow. Wow, thank you. And how do you become an angel investor with Golden Seeds? Well, first of all, you have to be sponsored by another member. Okay. You have to be an accredited investor okay. uh, per the SEC definition. And after that, you just have to have a passion for entrepreneurs. And, okay. And uh, there's a lot of learning involved and you have to be willing to roll up your sleeves and do real work around due diligence and sitting on boards of companies. Um, but uh, most of our members are successful business people themselves in their own right, either okay. entrepreneurs or corporate people or marketing um, or finance, financial people, so it's full range and all of that is extremely valuable because all of it can help the uh, companies. And how many have you got in your community of angel investors? We have 160 members all together wow. um, and most of them are women. We do have some men uh, as well and we love men. Yes. Um, and they're concentrated in New York, San Francisco, and Boston. We also have a small group in Philadelphia. Okay. And then we have several elsewhere in the country that uh, come into one of those centers. Great, thank you. What is the process for a female entrepreneur to obtain funding with Golden Seeds? For an entrepreneur to obtain funding for us, first uh, she fills in an online application at our website, goldenseeds.com. Okay. And uh, this is viewed within one or two days by our uh, screening director and then forum leaders in the locations in which uh, we hold forums. So it could be Boston, New York, San Francisco is okay. where we do our screenings. Okay. And so then those people will re review the applications and choose a subset from the application to come into screening. Right. And uh, then the entrepreneur is in front of any number of members from our group as right. she gets screened. Right. And those who make it through screening will uh, then be invited to a forum. So then you pitch to all the members at the forums. And uh, if you get enough invest interest at the forum, then we hold a two-hour meeting immediately following the forum so that we can dig into key issues. Mm. And if uh, things go well from that meeting, then we form a due diligence team. And uh, we do about two to three months of due diligence. Right. And at the end of the process, if all continues well, then yeah. hopefully we make an investment and then put someone on the board and then start working with the company alongside of the entrepreneur. Fantastic. And is it like with venture capital, a lot of venture capitalists say that they like to invest in people locally, um, like close to them. So for you, would you get entrepreneurs from, the, say, from the Midwest or other parts, say, Florida or other parts of the country? We invest in entrepreneurs all over the US. Great. In fact, we have a uh, company in Canada as well Great. that we made an investment in last year. Great. Um, and so one reason why uh, traditionally both angel groups and venture capitalists like to invest locally is mm. they like to be able to be close Yes. so they don't have to go too far to board meetings and yes. feel that the entrepreneur can easily get to them. Yes. Um, but we're quite comfortable working remotely. Great. Our members do, of course, fly to board meetings. Great. Um, and uh, we feel a lot can be accomplished without having to be in people's backyard. Fantastic. That's reassuring for um, some of the uncovered areas, like particularly the Midwest. I've had inquiries from people in that area. What do you look for in women entrepreneurs and startups that indicate interest to you in investing in their businesses? What, when we're looking to invest in an entrepreneur, the first thing we look for is passion for her idea mm -hmm. and this is very easy to detect most entrepreneurs are actually very passionate yes um, about what they're doing and so the why they're doing 
uh, their business is a really important thing for us to ascertain. Okay. And secondly, how much experience does she have in the arena in which she's established a business? Yep. And even if she doesn't have all the experience required, has she been able to demonstrate the ability to build a team that complements her skills and experience? Okay. And put other people around the company, such as advisory board members who can really help her with introductions and, um, right. and advice, counsel, all of that. So they're the critical things that we're looking for. We do focus on three sectors. Right. Consumer goods, life sciences, and uh, and internet businesses. Okay. Um, but we'll look at anything, and we've certainly invested outside of that. But okay. that's where our core expertise is. Brilliant, brilliant. Um, what can women entrepreneurs and startups do to increase their chances in sourcing angel investment? I, I guess generally, r rather than just specifically golden seeds. When an entrepreneur is looking for investment, um, there are lots of places to go. Right. Uh, you have to get out and about and go to venture capital fairs and forums and uh, meet and mingle with investors and don't be shy about promoting your cause. So yes. that's, uh, that's number one. But you have to build a relationship because people don't, or at least very rarely, just write a check after a one meeting. So right. this is about a relationship building exercise and it can take a while. Okay. So, um, you know, I think that's a really important thing to establish, even going through a few months of due diligence, is about developing a relationship. Yes, of course. So it's not just about fact checking. Yes. Um, and uh, it's great to get some individual introductions when you uh, go to a venture capitalist or a, an angel investor group, as having an advocate there for you makes a huge difference. Yes. Um, and you can find groups, angel groups in particular, if you go to two sources, Angel, um, the Angel Capital Association's website, okay. lists angel groups around the country. And in addition, AngelSoft, which is a deal management system many of us use, also yes. helps yes. you find groups. Mm -hmm. And venture capital firms, you can find them through the National Venture Capital Association website. And then look at who's on, who are the partners, and then uh, use LinkedIn and be creative about getting personal introductions. Great, great, good idea. What sort of challenges do women face if they become an angel investor? Obviously you'd have lots of experience with the challenges. Yes, uh, becoming an angel investor is uh, really a fun thing to do. I think it's a great second career. Great. Uh, uh, especially for people that want to stay involved in the business world but yes. don't necessarily want to be fully uh, employed or have a boss. Yes, yes. Um, uh, but it's a lot of work because you, you you really have to do a lot more than just write a check. You yes. really have to be willing to support the companies and you have to go through tough times with the entrepreneurs and uh, it's really important that you're communicating with the entrepreneur and have them communicate regularly with you because it's hard to help the company if you don't really know what the challenges are. So really building the relationship between yes. the entrepreneur and yes. investor. Okay. Like all business, this yes, is a relationship of course. business. Yes, because we're people, we're humans. Exactly. <laughs> Great. And um, what qualities and experience are necessary to be a female angel investor? To be an angel investor, uh, it's extremely valuable if you've uh, got some business background yourself uh, okay. and uh, and actively engaged in the world so okay. uh, because your connections can really help these companies your advice can your experience your particular expertise can too right. but it's your connections that are going to help them um, uh, mostly because at getting access to big companies for partnerships or for clients mm. that's the toughest thing that entrepreneurs face and mm. uh, any help we can give them in that respect is extremely valuable. Brilliant. Look, thank you again for your time today. I really appreciate it. I know you're very busy. That's great thank to you. meet you. <laughs>